everybody. Hope your day is going well. I hope uh, your accounts are doing well. And I hope that you're paying attention to Bitcoin and uh, probably putting some money aside to start stacking some sats. Um, this is a good time to buy. It's at another resistance level at 10,000. It broke it a little bit, but I'm not too concerned about it. I'm more concerned with what it is driving uh, the moment behind Bitcoin. And right now it's still uh, trading, a professional trader trading it in its pattern. Uh, they're probably short term algorithms trading it. But regardless, mainly, mainly manual traders as this is a small, less efficient market. Um, yeah, I don't know. I hope you're stacking some sats. I'm, I'm uh, working hard right now to stack more sats. I mean, you can see it. You just look, look on YouTube and at all the professional financial uh, advisors or just financial people that know about business and finance that are well recognized, and um, they are finally understanding the bigger picture. And uh, they've been understanding it. They've just been accumulating. They don't really want to come out and announce that they are in support of it because they know that that is going to give fire to the price and uh, support. Uh, from industry leaders and of course it will solidify the floor and continue to put up pressure besides that you know I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with the Hong Kong protests and and how uh, I think there's a there's a couple reports uh, people on Twitter that are retweeting it Kyle Bass and some other people that within jail that they're the the protesters are being beaten uh, to the point where there's broken bones, there's dislocated bones and joints, and yeah, so you can see um, the level of human respect that they uh, they have as a as an organization, uh, what they call the the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party, and um, this is well known in history the way they treat human life. Um, you know, the, these type of organizations, are, they're not religious organizations where it's a spiritual um, a spiritual guidance in, uh, guiding them into how they should treat society. And this is a, a society that's being led mainly by um, what you call a confusion uh, theory and, and uh, what, they, what they do is basically manage large populations within a certain geographical region to the point where they can stay functioning uh, and that's what they are used to and that's what they continue to do it's never a religious thing if it was a religious thing it'd be you know procreate and fill the earth right but with these people it's more of a communist mentality where it's no we have so much uh, land and resources and we need to have a sustainable ecosystem the problem with that is that um it doesn't give people individual rights, uh, and that's what we're fighting. We don't believe that's the best system here in the West, and so here we are today. And this is a major part in what's going on with the markets because, of course, if we stop trading with the East and stop using their cheap uh, labor for our consumption, then uh, it, the price of stuff, of course, is going to go up. And uh, that's going to change our economy fundamentally, I think, in a good way, because it'll bring a lot of uh, a lot of uh, industry that left for cheap labor. It'll bring it back here, and it will put people here to work instead of being unemployed or on welfare, uh, unmotivated workers, wh whatever they're considered. They'll be going back to work. Yes, it will be hard work because the standards are now global, and we're competing with global. A global workforce but it's better than uh, being on welfare and eventually uh, just being sent to you know worker camps which would our which is what our prison system here in the US is that's why it's the largest in the world we essentially have kind of like slave labor you saw that that piece with the Democratic debate where they came where they exposed Kamala Harris Tulsi Gabbard exposed Kamala Harris and having been part of 
these secret dealings are corrupt and basically enslave uh, innocent people into doing uh, hard labor for nothing, basically. Let me know what you think.